Well, that's our six little finger. Hey, got tank number 418 now with a new Ace Mastery. Yes, this is the IS-4, the Soviet Tier 10 heavy tank. One of the original heavies in this game and uh, such troll armor on this. If you can learn to angle this thing well, it is... Uh, one of the more difficult tanks, in my opinion, to, to pen on the regular Tech Tree tanks. However, it does have that Soviet gun handling. So your dispersion's well over 0.3. Gun depression's only 6 degrees. Doesn't shoot well on the move. Uh, so you really have to use that armor for your benefit. Our team has pushed into A, and as you see there, not quite the right spot. That IS-7 just gave us just a teeny tiny window of an opportunity to shoot the lower plate. But what I've noticed here is there's an IS-8 kind of pushed himself out a little bit too far. You don't want to overextend yourself in an IS-8, guys. You do not have the level of armor that you're you're really used to in that tank line. So you can see here, we're gonna get a couple shots into him, and he's gonna rightly push away onto the other side of the buildings. T-30 over there, have to give him um, some space he can lose a lot of hit points to a t30 real quick so so just be aware of that we're going to focus here on on getting rid of this is8 i'm just trying to get down a little bit lower here below him make it a little bit difficult for him to get a good angle on it i was going to back into the ditch but since he ran away we'll go ahead and back on into town So far, just solid, heavy gameplay going on here. He does get the mouse taken out, but we're going to finish him off there. Still conscious about that T-30, and we have uh, the T-95E6 there. So we're going to try to just angle this off of the building. So that guy is just pre-aimed for us. And you can see we take our shot and angle in, but yeah, we've kind of lost track. The fact that there's a big old E100 and IS-7 to our left here, so uh, this guy is not the fastest of players. I think that T-30 just shot, so I want to go ahead and get his gun out first. And now we can tag team on this T-95E6. Uh, this is where it gets interesting. Um, it looks like this is kind of in the bag here. Uh, four tanks to two. I've got my shot on the IS-7. And uh, yeah, I totally get blocked by my own IS-7 there. These guys are actually playing pretty well together. That IS-7 again. Like the IS-4, can be a little bit tricky to pen. You really have to to aim in below that spaced armor. But we're cruising here, 800 cap points. Waiting for the E-100 to turn back towards us so, so we can get that pen. And now it is two on one. And there I am, tr focusing on trying to get below the spaced armor, and I just don't pull the trigger in time. And we end up hitting the building. They're going to push hard for our IS-7. Which is fine by me, uh, because as you can see here, I've been able to rack up almost 5,000 in damage. Now we have two tanks, and this is... 
you know, kind of one of those things where I would rather play defensive here than go on the offensive. Um, I th think more, you know, get these guys out here being overly aggressive um, and, and catch the IS-7 like that as opposed to potentially walking into two guns, bouncing a shot, and then, and then who knows what's going to happen, even though that E-100 bounces there at the end. We finished still with a healthy amount of hit points left. 5,600 damage and four kills was enough to pull this off. And there is finally that ace mastery. I think I've played well over 100 battles in this tank. Uh, so it does not come easy. Look at this, 1613 on the XP to get the ace. So you really got to put everything together to get that ace in the IS-4. Because like I said, it is a solid tank. And uh, a lot of people do play it very, very well. So with that, guys, hope you're having fun out there. Stay safe. Get educated. Not fingered. Little finger out.